Let's take a look at some examples of probability. So here we need to put a mark on the scale. So remember zero is impossible, one is dead certain. So what's the probability of teaching a tortoise to speak Swedish? Uh, well, that is 100% impossible. So therefore that would have to go here on zero, not close to zero, not very unlikely. That is completely impossible, so that is A. Someone being born on Earth tomorrow. Well, someone is born in the city of York every single day. So I'm sure just in York, someone is gonna be born tomorrow. So therefore on Earth, someone is definitely gonna be born tomorrow. So that is going to be 100% certain. So a probability of one. What's the probability of someone in your family winning Wimbledon? Well, I don't know what your family are like as far as tennis is concerned, but I'd say it's extremely unlikely, not impossible, but I would mark that as a probability as somewhere, not sorry, the other end, uh, which would be close to impossible. So here, C. Not completely impossible, but very, very unlikely. You misplacing your house keys in the next five years. Well, I know people that lose their house keys on a daily basis, but you know, I can't guarantee that you're gonna misplace your house keys in the next five years. So I would mark that as very close to certain. So I put it very, very close to one, but not on one because there's always that element of doubt, but pretty close to one. Your friend hiding an object in one of his or her hands and you guessed the correct hand. Well, your friend presumably only has two hands. So it's a 50-50 choice. So therefore it's, going to have a probability of one half. So I'd mark the X exactly on the one half there.